Nope, you don't have to answer that question. Well, if you don't have probable cause and reasonable suspicion, you can't arrest it. You know, technically, it gets into a really gray area as far as what authority you have to arrest me. And it's compounded by the fact you're in municipal court, and it's a yes. different, it's a civil hearing, it's not a criminal hearing, so the rules are, we rarely, yeah, we on our level, we, we rarely deal with municipal, municipal on the county level. It, it, their plan, I had asked for a jury from day one with the municipal court, yeah. and I and said, they don't do that. and they deliberately kept it into that arena because they know how to play the game. Was the matter ever reviewed by the district attorney's office? Yes. And what did they say? Declined to press any charges. They sent it back for a, a citation? Yes. Yes, okay. But the district attorney had already tangled with me on this Frank Murphy road rage thing, and they already know straight up the first thing I say is I want a jury. Right, right. Period. This, the DA here already tangled with me and already knows I don't take a plea, don't even waste your breath, there is no plea deal, there is no deal in a plea. But this stinks. This is a freaking setup. And this is nothing but a bunch of bullshit. Was that a municipal charge too, or was that? That a was a minute. No, that was that right had to be here. Yeah. Did you get a ticket though? I did. Too. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's a I county. got. I got. So it's a county thing, so it's yeah. almost like municipal court. Where they were telling you no. Okay. All very right. close to. Very close, but not exactly like a municipal yeah. thing. Okay. It was, was many comments that were made between myself, my attorney, and the DA that if I did not take this plea. They were going to bump it up to a criminal charge. And I told them, bring it on. This is bullshit when you have to sit here and argue over whether you can even get a jury. You, 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 you want me to believe that there's justice? Then give me a freaking jury. Let me get in front of a jury and tell you what actually happened to have six normal people, not brainwashed in some particular Nazi boot camp style bullshit, but give me six normal people who are used to going out in the real world that knows what it's like to be attacked and tell me that I don't have a right to defend myself. This you had mentioned you thought I'd probably call Attorney Phillips. Sure. Would you sign a waiver tell, letting sure. him talk to me? Oh, absolutely. Would you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. I, because, I, I mean, he was there that day. I think he he's a witness. Yes, he right? is. So that's, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm coming from. That's what my task is. I don't think um, that answers the other complaints that you had filed. Um, at this point, I'm not assigned to look into those. If you would like, I'm going to follow up with the DA to find out what's going to happen with those, if you'd okay. like me to do that. Absolutely. And then I can, I'm going to check on the other, uh, is there two or three other complaints that you filed? There was, yeah. There three? Was. Two or three, something like that. Um, there well, was multiple. Multiple, okay. <clears throat> so I'll find out what is happening with that stuff. To consider, Gary, is if you feel at some point um, uh, that you're okay with letting me see if there's video uh, inside the house um, that would help me out with seeing what the guys are taking out and that type of stuff. I want you just to think it through. Sure. I'm not pushing, I'm not pressuring, I'm just saying those things might be helpful for me. Um, actually, they'd probably be very helpful for me. But if if you're if it's not a thing that you want to do, I understand. So it's a level of cooperation that I have not had in the past several years from whether it's the sheriff's department or the police department. Mm -hmm. Zero. Yeah. In, including even if you want to talk about the Milwaukee incident where I lost six hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. The the track record of level of cooperation. I hear you. And yet, it's a catch-22 because without my cooperation... It puts me in a bad spot. <laughs> it puts you in a difficult spot. It, it does. And I can't do anything about it because the track record and history of being helpful yep. and cooperative, I've gotten well, burned every time. Right, and I understand. At this stage of the game, there's enough videos out there that you can look at yeah. and determine for yourself. I filed enough complaints. Um, not just with against the police department about their issues on how they addressed everything, but mm -hmm. the perjury. Um, I also had addressed issues about being attacked and assaulted. That was the McDonald's thing? At the McDonald's uh -huh. thing. And this is just the whole thing is they won't even accept my complaint against 
Sean Calderon, who attacked me. Let me ask you this, Gary. If you have stuff, if you have stuff that would help you, that you have on video from in there, mm -hmm. are you gonna? Are you using that? I'm going to. Okay. All right. To answer your question, and you didn't answer, you didn't ask the right question, and I'm going to point you in the right direction. Why didn't I use it? The citation lists February 14, 2014 as the incident, okay? It's wrong. It's February 4th. Oh, it I, says 14? Yes. Oh. And the citation list the 14th. I don't have anything for the 14th. It happened on the 4th. It happened on the 4th. And they wouldn't uh. tell me... And the city attorney wouldn't tell me what was going on, and I complained about the accuracy of the citation to the city attorney. I said, that's wrong. I know it's wrong, but I don't. They waited four months to arrest me. Then they wait another year to even file the citation. Did they amend the citation to the right No, place? they didn't. And I filed a complaint with the state. It has to be correct. It has to be filled out completely. And I file a complaint with the, against the city attorney with the state saying that the violation description is completely blank. I have no clue what you're accusing me of doing. Second, it's wrong. It's the wrong date. It's the wrong date. Okay. The state comes back and says, oh, too bad. The court, December 3rd, 2015, city attorney Ann Marie Isley files a motion with Judge Jankowski to correct the date. Now it's corrected, and now I know it's February 4th, not the 14th. Okay. But I check my records. You won't have anything. Right, well, 16 security cameras throughout McDonald's, okay? Mm -hmm. Six on the inside of the dining room. Get the picture? Mm -hmm. They only release one. They give you one, one angle. One angle okay. of the inside one angle of the outside of, of me leaving in my car just to say is that you in your car is that your car is that your license plate we, okay so now if you compare that to the quality of the inside pixel resolution completely distorted second the frame is trimmed okay so instead of just saying i have the frame width of this entire room it's trimmed down to very little third it is also what we refer to as airbrushed technology, or just using an airbrush. I don't know. If this is where the incident happened, okay. right in here. This area, these two women, they spoke to me. Mm -hmm. These two women, when, this, when he attacked me, I was like right here. This is a female employee, a female employee who was standing somewhere right around here when the fight broke out. So all your activity is right in this area. This is where he's threatening me. This is where he attacks me. <coughs> this is darkening. <in. coughs> you won't even see these women. Oh, on, on the <coughs> video, you don't even see them. Huh? You don't even see them. You've got to watch it multiple times. And the reason this lady called 911. There is no doubt about it. This lady right here, she's 30 years old approximately, sitting with a son about five to six years old. When this fight broke out, this woman went ballistic. And I don't mean stop. I mean stop. I'm telling you I don't want you to fight anymore. What's going on? I've got my son here. I mean she's getting involved. Mm -hmm. She ain't yelling at me. She's yelling at Calderon. She saw how I reacted when he hit me and he threatened to kick my yeah, ass. Yeah. I straight up put up my hands, my fist, and everything else and backed up and said, let's on. This thing is on. I don't know what your problem is. I don't know who you are. I don't care. You're threatening to kick my ass in front of all these people, in front of all these cameras. This man, I know that this is airbrushed is what I'm trying to tell you based on my experience. This is what I look for. This is what I watch. Second, you can actually see where they freeze me in a frame and then play the video forward. I am frozen in time. Okay. And because you will distort this image so bad you won't be able to tell it's me. That's huh, a key. Okay. That's okay. a key when you actually look at it's frozen in time at the most critical time that I'm talking to these people. I'm frozen in time. And Calderon will be moving 
and I'm supposedly standing still. I'm just out of my peripheral vision. She's, what's going on? I'm defending myself. I'm, def I'm, a, I'm being attacked. I'm defending myself. But I don't take my eyes off of Calderon. I don't really notice really who she is. These women are talking, and they're yelling, and they're screaming at him to stop fighting. They're, what's going on? He says, I don't know. I'm being attacked. I'm defending myself. Don't know this guy. Don't know what his problem is. It's been going on for 10 minutes. Before I get out of my seat, he's sitting there doing monkey faces mm -hmm, to me. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of indication for me to get my camera out and start I don't care what his problem is. I'm just sitting here drinking my wine. I don't care. Go ahead and be a monkey. I don't really give a shit. Kind of a thing. But I'm going to take a picture. When you see that concealed witnesses, you're going to see somebody sitting next to me who followed me through the whole... Officer Kerrigan speaks to this old man, and they refuse to release his statement, who he is, what he saw, and what he said. When you see this old man, that's, what I'm, that's one of the witnesses I want you to pick up on. When I bring up the question of concealed witnesses, they're withholding the ID, okay. the witness statements, the 911 calls, who these women are, what this woman said on the 911 call. Do you think there's, so how do you know there's three calls? When Rachel Torres comes back with the, from the counter with the food, mm -hmm. Calderon immediately does a straight beeline right to her table and starts talking to her. Watch it closely as Rachel Torres walks right directly to this table and starts talking to this lady. When you get Rachel Torres and you start talking to her about, did you call 911, on the stand she openly states, no, I didn't, but I know another woman did. Okay. Under cross-examination, I asked Joe Peters, did you call 911? Yes, he did. Now we're going to have to single frame through this, okay? And I'm assuming you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. When you do that, and I get to the door, there's going to be a round, shiny disc that pops up on the screen right in the upper right-hand corner. Okay. Just as I'm leaving the building. That is where they're saving all the changes and all the edits to this video. Oh, okay. Okay? It is, it is, if you don't do this single frame, you won't see it. You'll see a flash. Okay. It'll just, that's yeah. how I caught it. When I first was watching it, I'm watching it, and I'm, is that Sean Calderon states that I was standing somewhere around here for a minute, okay? You know that a minute is a very long time. I'm assuming you do that. You do know that a minute is a very long time. It can be. Yes, it can be. When I get up and I go to return the newspaper back and forth, I time studied it, it's 33 seconds. I also measured the distance from point A to point B and back. It's about 40 feet to the newsstand okay. times 2, yep. 80, divided by 33 seconds. That out to you is I never even stopped to look anywhere in this area. I just simply walked there mm -hmm. and back. Okay. Okay. I put the newspaper back, da 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 da. There's my hands are in my pocket, and I never had a clear picture of what they were accusing me of. Try to figure out how you're going to defend yourself when you don't have even the basic level of information or cooperation. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to get um, the 911 calls, I'd be asking for the wrong the date. Yeah. If I look for my records, I'm looking for the wrong date. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of this research after. December. Oh, when you finally got when I yeah, finally yeah, yeah, yeah. get some answers to what is going on. Because that that was a that was the tr the trial at Muni Court, right? And that was December fifth. Third. Th oh, December. Two thousand fifteen. The other videos. Oh. I filed. I filed complaints against Torres and her boyfriend Sean Mantis and the McDonald's manager Joe yeah. Peters for perjury. Well, and that's going to be something totally separate. So well, I, I'm going to finish, just so you, you know. You finish, but I'm going to tell you I'm going to look into one not, thing. It's not your job, <laughs> but it's somewhat related. Right, it is. I will give you that. It is definitely related. Somewhat it's related. it's all part of the same thing. It is. It's a mess. Yeah. And I don't know how you do your job, and I don't know if you're going to help me or not. 
I don't know how to answer your questions, mm -hmm. but when you look at these videos, if you want to know how it plays out, you can now look at it and you can see these things and you can understand it. The district attorney is going to, I don't know what the district attorney is going to do, but they have tried twice in one week to pin some type of child pornography on me. The Frank Murphy's road rage incident with Sheriff Hollinsworth stated that I was videotaping his daughter on his property two days in a row on his driveway for 15 minutes each day is what the police report reads. 